Hey everyone, welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we talk about photogrammetry and where you can use nothing more than just a digital camera and some software to produce some really compelling and realistic 3D models. So casting is really helpful, uh, of course, because you bring something away from you and it's not just two dimensions, it's actually three dimensions. So, um, the process with casting uh, isn't all that difficult to learn. And, uh, you know, the first one is uh, sometimes you protect the area that you're working in. So there's our little fences that you can place around a, uh, a cast or an impression. Uh, sometimes you can use like a hardening spray, uh, depending on the situation that you're in. You mix the casting material. It's really just a type of like, even like dental stone or something like that. Um, but you wanna make sure you have a homogeneous mix and basically you pour it into the casting area, uh, usually starting on the side, not directly into the, um, the impression itself. You don't want to damage anything and you wait for it to harden. So after you know 20 minutes or so, depending on uh, the environmental conditions, you wait and then you can remove it. Now, once it's hardened, you can sort of store it kind of thing, but they don't recommend that you sort of clean it up or spray water on it, clean up all the soil. Uh, and that's because um, it needs to harden for much longer. It's, it's, uh, it's got a, contains a lot of moisture. And so you need to let it sit for a couple of days and that sort of thing. So I've got a couple of, of examples here uh, of casts right beside me. So this is one that's actually quite good. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, not a bad model. Uh, it's, uh, you know, pretty good. You can see some really fine details like right there. You can see the, uh, the logo. Um, the details here are looking pretty good. But you see at the tip here, we get a little bit of some noise or some distortions that are happening. That could be because of dirt um, or maybe some other reasons. But, um, you know, that's not too bad. Of course, they don't always come out all that clean. And so this is more typical of what they might look like. And this is dropping dirt over here. But, um, you know, when you first pull it out, you might have this thing completely layered with dirt. And so you got to just let it sit, let it cure, and then you can clean it up, you know, after a couple of days of just having it uh, sit. So um, the great thing is about casts is that you can take them with you, right? You, you take them away. Uh, they're physical models that you can hold in your hand and you can look. And for that, uh, for that advantage, there are also disadvantages, and that is that they break. And so when they break, you know, you kind of have a ruined piece of evidence. Um, also, when you're pouring into a soft substrate or snow or something like that, that can cause a problem. Um, it's an exothermic reaction here, so sometimes you have to use things like hardening sprays or, or different types of things um, uh, depending on the situation you're in.